G'day, Stu from UAV Futures here, and today, well, I am going stir crazy. I've been sitting inside. Mother Nature has been just throwing down the rain, crazy wind. I cannot get out to fly, and I thought, right, what can I do? I've done some work over there, working on some things. I built this crazy box contraption, and if you know what this is, put your comments down below. Don't worry, it's not a pair of box goggles, but uh, you can watch a video on how to make your own, but I've been stuck inside all day. I'm going crazy, and I thought, you know what? I'm going to make a video for you guys. Let me know what you think about it. A little bit different, kind of a bit of a rant and uh, I just got to get some of this energy out. So what we're talking about today is this bad boy uh, right here and why uh, this is going to make your uh, battery checker look like a piece of junk compared to this one. I really like this and for eight bucks I'm kind of amazed at what it can do. Very very handy with some features you wouldn't expect and also for some other people out there you would have seen my video recently I uploaded on the sexiest radio you've ever seen. Not really it was this piece of junk the Free Sky X Lite Pro which to be honest I was so sick of hearing radio antenna defective with this noise I was ready just to throw this thing out the, out the window so I wasn't having very much fun with that and so many people said Stuart have you tried these settings update this change the external thing Stuart you don't know what you're talking about do this don't worry I've done all that stuff it still ain't working and another thing I want to mention as well the 18650 caps that came with it this is like uh, our favorite topic on the in the hobby right now let's just rag on free sky because that's what everybody seems to do but check this out the 18650 caps that come with it is this the right one Oh no, I threw it. That's right, I actually did throw this bit across the room. Yeah, here it is. And the reason I threw this part was because, check this out. Oh look, let's connect those. Fits nice and snug, right? Yep, that's gonna hold our battery in there when we've got our model flying around. Uh, no, you can just pull that straight off. So this is a piece of garbage. These extra caps, do not get these. They On the X-Lite Pro, they are not fitting at all. They're a terrible fit. So yeah, I think they're a piece of junk. Um, but I did get a useful email from a user called Duck, so shout out to him because he sent me a link and I followed it and I gotta tell you, it has now become the sexiest radio. You are the sexiest X-Lite in existence because no longer do I have to, have to listen to that warning of a radio antenna defective. Let me show you why. Because I was able to fix that with his help. There was some special instructions. Oh, when I turn this bad boy on. Oh, and I've also got kind of some low batteries in there at the moment as well. That's what it says now. So no longer are we going to get radio antenna defective. Whoa. Have I fixed it? It's oh, okay. It was just trolling me. But yeah, we get a big burly New Zealander dude telling us, Stu, it's broken as well as some other flight modes and stuff. Ooh, high speed mode. But if you'd like the link, there's like a Terena sound pack. You just put it on your SD card. Super easy. If you want to listen to a burly, deep voice New Zealand dude instead of whoever's on your radio, well, you can have some fun. Yeah, okay. That's that's enough. Thank you very much, Mr. New Zealand. Thanks, Doc. But you can go check that link out. That'll be in the description below. But pretty much still, this thing, it's, it's like the sound pack guy says. I did fix radio antenna defective by just changing the sound file that it says, yes, you, it's broken. So this thing... Currently, still a piece of junk, but moving on from our favorite topic of ragging on the X-Lite Pro. What I've got here, this is the UR UAV battery checker. And what I really like about this thing, it displays all your voltages at once. You might think, Stuart, I've seen some battery checkers like that before. Blah, blah, blah. Let's get this in the roof cam. Do, do, do. Right there, so you can see, nice little graph. Look, there's all their voltages, blah, blah, blah. I do like it how it displays them all at once, so you don't have to cycle through like on some of these. Uh, and for eight bucks, you really can't complain. But what I especially love is this right here. So we also have the ability to bind with this little thing, power your receivers, and also check if the inputs are working. So we can do a bit of troubleshooting in the field because you can plug it in. You can see my little receiver is going to light up. And then I also need to power up my Tyrannus. No. Uh. <laughs> Alright, so let's plug this in. And uh, I don't know if you can tell as well, I had a few cups of coffee today. Probably more than I should have, so... I'm on, so I'm going to turn on my good old fashioned X light, the one that actually works. We've got a bit of a low battery warning in there. The batteries in here are a bit of junk, but also let's go through and have a look. We're going to need to bind this up and this might be sitting too close. Come on. All right, let's rebind this and the beauty about this, we can actually bind with this radio. So let's go through, go in here. This, is this in the roof? Hang on. 
You don't really need to see too much of this bit, but let's let's just bind, and then I'm gonna do this. Put it into bind mode. Exit. Thank you very much. Let's restart it. Do you load battery? No. Which is probably too close. All right. So anyway, you can see. Hopefully, this is going to come on screen. We can see now our S bus bus inputs right here on the bench. So there we go. We've got our roll pitch. You need to check your switches, all that sort of stuff. Oh, this little screen here, I really like it because look, you can check your batteries, but also you've got that extra functionality of being able to bind and using your receivers and finding out how you know are you actually getting the stick commands that you want. You don't know. You no longer need it plugged into your drone, looking on your computer and beta flight, all that sort of stuff. So. I think it's gonna be a bit of a useful tool for some people out there because not everything has to be done on the computer. I know not everybody's gonna be using it, but look, if it comes in that extra functionality at no extra cost, well, you can't really complain, especially for like eight bucks. Are you kidding me, SD card full? <laughs> Anyway, sorry, I was looking at the roof cam and that one's full. But anyway, that's it. So there's my bit of a ramble. Uh, I want to get outside and fly. It's not going to happen. The weather sucks. I thought, you know what? Let's just make a video. Have some fun. Put your comments down below. What do you think? Does Free Sky still suck? And those 18650 caps, they do. If you want the Berlin New Zealand dude's deep voice Tyrannus pack, that'll be linked down below. I'll also send an email out to my patrons. Check out the battery checker because it shows you all your voltages at once. And for eight bucks, you can't complain. But also being able to bind and see your signals and how it's coming through on the different channels that stuff is really really cool and put your comments down below what is this box for so that's some stuff coming up about this and don't worry it's not going to be strapped to my head so i want to do you know what that's for that's another thing that i am very very excited for on that subscribe for more fpv related rambling rambles from here because uh pretty much i want to get out and fly it's not going to be happening today uh and as always happy flying unless you got an x-light pro then still High speed mode, active, engine, off, flaps, down, inactivity alarm, receiver, still connected, stew, it's broken.